In today's video, sponsored by the makers of Call of Dragons, we're going to go over a couple end of season events. The first of which is the token exchange. The second one we'll get a look at is going to be the artifact compendium. And then the third thing we're going to talk about is just my season wrap up and a few thoughts on heroes I thought I would use and didn't and heroes I didn't expect to use and did use them a lot. And if you want, you can jump to any part with the timestamps. As you know, if you're subscribed to the channel, pretty much every one of my videos has those. So let's start up front with the token exchange. Hey, look, I have been saying this is a thing we needed for quite some time. And I knew that there would be something we could do with our legendary hero tokens at some point. So the question is, really, what is the value of an excess legendary hero token and if we go to the exchange you can see we scrap one of these to get a hundred of this currency and i can exchange 400 currency for one token so it's a four for one exchange on excess hero tokens which is not bad it's not so good i think that you would just spin a wheel for a hero you don't need and plan to just exchange the tokens, but I would need to do the math. And I will point out there's a limit here. 20 hero tokens is what you can get, and they are generation specific. So this is a lot more exciting at the start of a new generation than it is at the end of a generation. But there are also legendary medals here. Uh, these cost 100. So basically, every excess hero token can become a gold, well, I was going to call it a gold star, a legendary medal, which actually is not so bad. And then, of course, there's more gold keys. There's universal artifact keys. There's honestly a lot here that is pretty good. Uh, they've got regeneration potions, and they've got 60-minute speed ups. I mean, if you're a whale, I would think your objective is to drain this shop regularly and i think that we will get this at the end of every season which is pretty exciting now of course we can jump into the rules here uh, after the season summary you can scrap leftover legendary hero tokens at the token exchange store there are three tiers available at the exchange store corresponding with your uh, season grade enduring conquer and anointed the higher your grade the more rewards you can receive in exchange oh interesting Scrap hero tokens to gain hero seals. The hero seals can be retained and exchanged at the end of each season summary. So it sounds like if you have excess tokens, you don't have to spend them. And the exchange store only opens after the season summary has ended. So after your season of strife has ended, then and only then do you have the opportunity to exchange here. And unfortunately... I mean, I get why Lily and Hosk tokens cannot be exchanged, but I don't exactly understand why you can't exchange your Indus tokens. But, I mean, I kind of get it. They don't want you to, I guess, to get lots of Indus tokens from your uh, sort of expedition over here and then exchange them for hero tokens, I guess. I don't know. I just don't think you're getting that many of these, really. But... Whatever, I buy gold stars over here and I'm very happy with that. I guess that technically, because you can get a hero token here cheaper than you can get a gold star here, they're trying to balance that economy, but I definitely accidentally clicked on Indus a few times after I've maxed her. It is what it is. It's a bit of a yikes, and there's nothing I can do with those tokens apparently, so GG's. Uh, but let's get after this, and we'll start with heroes. I know I definitely have maxed. Um, we're going to get rid of these Thea tokens. And if I hit max here, 115 of these, whoo, I mean, this should give me a good amount of currency, right? We hit scrap, and there it is, 11,500 currency. GG's. Bakshi I maxed ages ago. See you later. Nico. Oh my gosh. Dude, look at this. I have so much of this currency. So I go to this exchange. I mean, I'm going to be able to get a lot of stuff here. I think having more stuff to buy in this shop would be a huge win. So uh, even just with those few things here, I max out the potions. I mean, I definitely want these artifact keys, so we just go for that. And I still have an astonishing amount of currency. Wow. Okay, I can max out uh, these one-minute speeds. I can get more keys. Feels kind of weird to just, like, 
get more keys. Honestly, I might just go for resources. You can get 200 of the treaties and the sentinel arrows, which like maybe you still need those at this point. Also, these epic hero tokens are kind of interesting only because we know that there's new epic heroes on their way into the game. I'd like to max them quickly. So if I get a look at how many of those epic tokens I have now, I have 968. I mean, I'm probably chilling on epic hero tokens. Maybe I could exchange for them. But I honestly have like plenty of stuff in here. Uh, okay, that's that's actually kind of cool. Let's continue on this journey then. Um, we're going to go over here and I mean, may as well get more gold keys, I guess. Feels weird, but I mean, I guess you can get stars and speeds, right? And geez, that uses so little currency. And then I can grab all of these resources and I've, wow. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> I wish there was more I could exchange for. To do that, I guess getting to the anointed tier would give you a little bit more to work with. So I don't see any reason why I need to scrap any of these other hero tokens. I can just chill. And these should carry with me from season to season. I'll be a little bit disappointed if they didn't. The scrap hero tokens to gain hero seals. Hero seals can be retained and exchanged at the end of each season summary. So theoretically... This will live with me into uh, perpetuity, gained by scrapping legendary hero tokens, exchanged, blah, blah, blah. Um, great. Well, that was, uh, not, I guess, not as much as I could uh, exchange there as I thought. I may as well grab these while I'm here. GG's. Um, theoretically, you could grab the Sentinel Arrows and the Trees as well. And then what you would do is you'd go over here and you could exchange those. But the rate's not amazing. So, like... Yeah, it'd be one currency. So for the 200, like what does 200 currency get me? Not even, <laughs> not even one. Three hours speed up. GG's. Ooh, while we're here, I need to do a lot of stuff. Holy smokes, I haven't done this week's exchanges. So let's open up these keys that we got and see if we get anything good. I would not anticipate to get anything particularly good here, but you never know. We'll open these up. What do we get? Nothing so far. Oh, we actually get a legendary. That's kind of poggers. Could be good. What do we got? Kingslayer. Okay. Total waste. Don't need it. And I have uh, an excess of these uh, emblems hanging around. So it is what it is. All right. Well, keys are open there. Um, I do have a bunch of gold keys that I'm sort of just waiting until the new epics show up. 422 of them. There's not really a need to open them at this exact moment in time, so I can just kind of chill on those. And I can go to my exchange shop over here, trade out some of this stuff, um, confirm that, and get a few extra things here. A couple of those gold keys. Oh, looks like I need to go get rid of some stuff. I'll be right back. Let me clear out this shop. So from here, we can look very briefly at what's in our Conqueror's Artifact Compendium. I get 20 attempts here, and you're guaranteed a legendary every 10 draws. So... You only really want to do this if you want to spend the necessary number of pulls to guarantee you get a draw. And the problem for me is I only care about the Gilded Crossbow and the Mirage Orb, and everything else here is a complete waste for me. So um, if I go to the probability table, not a lot that it actually... Actually, not a table. <laughs> uh, you draw from the Compendium 20 times, you're guaranteed the Legendary. So we sort of knew that already. Um, yeah, the, the real issue is that, sure, uh, I, gar I get guaranteed a legendary, but you don't pick which one. So it'll only be a 1 in 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, Ooh, 1. I guess a 2 in 15 chance that when I get the legendary, it's even one that I would maybe someday want to use. So I think this is a bit of a GG's, and I probably pass on this personally. Now, if I needed emblems, then I would want to do that. Uh, somehow I got more. Oh yeah, I bought more artifact keys. GG. Got that from the exchange shop. The thing is that I don't really need more emblems at this point in my account's sort of development here. Like if we scroll on down, like a ton of this stuff is six star and this is really not a flex. Like, you know, this account is over a year old and I've been spending on it. And like, yeah, it's pretty normal for a spender's account to have this kind of stuff. You can see here, I've just got a ton of these emblems. So I, I think I'm just chilling, honestly. I don't I don't need to convert gems into probably another one of these emblems. I know I could chance it, but 
I just, I just don't think it's uh, going to be worth for me at this moment. And the uh, final thing I wanted to cover in this video is heroes that I thought I would use but kind of didn't, and then heroes that I didn't think I would use but really use them a lot. And unfortunately, the hero combo I used the least was Hosk and Kanara. Uh, and it's a bummer because it's like a great combo. But it, it was benched pretty much all season for me. And maybe if I was running around with a five stack of marksmen and then a five stack of mages separately, that would be what I'm doing. But it just wasn't. All season long, I had the stamina to support using the best heroes I could muster. And so, yeah, like I was using Magrad and Zeta. And I was using... Maybe Sindrian and Fragar, maybe. Uh, I definitely used Lily and Velen. Um, I would maybe use Bertrand and Tohar. And I was constantly using Goresh and Skogul. And the hero combo I was not expecting to use as much as I did was Madeline and Garwood. Garwood in particular, I used a lot. Um, and, you know, okay, Madeline, I'm sort of used to using a lot. Um, I kind of wish that I had her six stars. Stars are something I just need more of, man. But yeah, Madeline and Garwood got a ton of use. And you know, the thing that's so weird is like, yeah, I've got this frost bear. I just, I'll tell you what, I just don't feel like pets are doing a ton of damage. Even with the two star skill and some of these, you know, enhancements. And I get this is not the most insane pet, but I don't know. You, you really notice the lack of damage your infantry are dealing and the amount that these are really just here to soak damage when you are playing uh, the tournament of champions that's where it's just really really pronounced that all your infantry are doing is soaking damage and you might get merits maybe but they're not, they're not really dealing a ton of damage in fact if i go to tournament of champions oh it's a season over now GG's. I guess that's because we're in Home Kingdom at this point. Um, but I got ninth, and I ran double infantry. And yeah, I mean, even there, the, the Madeline and Garwood were really good. So if I were talking to a new player to the game today and pointing toward things that I think would have lasting value, at this moment in time, given the way the meta works, I would point to Madeline and Garwood as infantry investments being shockingly relevant later on and especially since you know if you if you even wanted to run more infantry combos now there's yet another infantry artifact if you're spending that you could go and get this is even got a thumbs up on this i don't know is that new it, it, oh interesting yeah they've got thumbs up on the ones they're recommending which yeah no these these make sense like spirit bone torque would be good the uh, Graymar's Warhammer is something I wish I had because it just seems so cool, but I never went for it because it was a 5% artifact. GG's. I, I really wish it was... I, I wish this and... Uh, I, don't, I don't get why these aren't 7.5% artifacts, to be honest. Breath of Gigantus, but whatever. Went for those. Uh, and then, yeah, Deathless Vines. This, this would be a nice little pickup. If you wanted to run three infantry marches, which... I mean, I think it is actually not just going to be viable, but probably even meta for a bunch of people to do that in this upcoming season where we're getting new infantry heroes. But I talked about that in my last video. If you want to see that, check the card in the end screen. It'll be right over here in just a second. If you enjoyed this video, throw a like on here, consider subscribing. And until next time, you have fun smashing your enemies. I'll see you in the next one.